Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing fixing old slimes and before we get into doing that actually, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel and leave a like down below. Now let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that we are need we're needing to do is see my old slime bucket down there. So I have a really big collection of all the slimes I've made over the years and there's a lot of really old gross ones down there so let's take a look and see what i've got to work with here's my slime bucket oh my gosh it's been so long since i've seen any of these so quite a mess in there I've got some random stuff like glue sticks and what is that down there it's like a, a magnet or something I don't know, but there's a lot of random stuff in here. What's that down there? It's like a cupcake liner. What is a cupcake liner doing in my slime? Okay. Well, anyways, we're going to choose three slimes from here, and I will see you when I've decided. Okay, guys, so after quite a bit of deciding, I have found three slimes that I may be able to fix, and they're not too, too bad, but still pretty gross. And all of them are deactivated, so they're all really sticky and not slimy at all. So this first one, it's got some dirt in it. Like, I don't know what that is. And it's, and it's so, like, it's so runny, and it's got all these balls in it. So... You know, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to fix this, but let's try. The second one that I've chosen is this one. I don't even know what that is. It's like some flaky stuff and then this like orange base that's deactivated. I think I have a plan for this one, but I can't be entirely sure because it's pretty bad. And then this one, I don't know what that stuff is. I think it's like paint or some type of like glue or maybe I don't know like some lotion or something I don't know and I added these little cube things I was like trying to make it look like an ice ice drink or something like that but it's just so gross now so let's get on to fixing the first slime okay guys so here's the first one and I have a little bowl right here I should probably tilt the camera so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing so Here's the bowl right here, and I'm going to spoon this out into here. Actually, let me get a spoon. This is not a spoon. This is a fork, but it'll do. So, let's spoon all this out into here, or fork all this out into here, as I should say. And should I get all of it? I don't know if I'm gonna end up using this container again because the slimes made it so gross. Probably just wash it out again, right? I don't know. Well, I think I'm gonna make this into like a, a like an ice creamy flown sort of thing. So as you can see in here, it's kind of an ice creamy foam. I'm going to reposition my camera so you can see a bit better. Okay guys, so here's the slime. Can you see it really well? Okay. Well, it's kind of like, I don't know, like I'm gonna try to make it like an ice cream or like foam or something like that. I mean, it's already pretty pink, so. I think it should work. I think I'm gonna change the color to make it a bit prettier. Maybe a blue or a purple. But for now, we're just gonna start reactivating it because I think that's the best solution. But very first thing, I think, is to continue getting all of this gross stuff out. Back in, actually little flown thingies and I think that's pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and color it and then we can reactivate it 
Okay guys, so I've got my blue right here. And I think I'm gonna reactivate it with shaving cream. If it doesn't work, then it's fine. We can just use borax. But just a little bit of this blue because blue is really strong. Unlike any other other colors that came in the set. But I think the shaving cream will make it a bit lighter since this is like a really dark blue, like really saturated. Powder shaving cream. A little fluffy shaving cream. It's so satisfying to mix into stuff. Oh yes, it's reactivating. This is nice. This is what we like to see. That is one nice fluffy slime. Right there. I think from here I'm just gonna start mixing with my hands because I think that's gonna give me the best mixing result. Mm, this is so fluffy. This guy. I think I'm going to continue the mixing off camera, and then I will see you when it's all done. Okay, guys, so this is what I've come up with after mixing it, and it's super fluffy and super pokey, and it has those little foam balls in there. It makes the texture really nice, and overall, I would say this is a pretty nice slime. Now there's still one more thing I need to add, and that is glitter. It always makes every slime shimmer, and yeah, let's get the glitter. So for this slime, I thought this holographic blue would be perfect. So let's just sprinkle that on there. Well guys, I think it's time to move on to the next slime. Okay guys, so the next slime up is this one and you know i'm not feeling too excited about fixing this so let's just kind of get it over with you see it can very watery it's very 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 watery so let's just pour this out into here it actually looks pretty cool when you pour it out So this was originally a metallic slime, I think. So as you can see, it's pretty metallic. Um, so, why is my camera blurry? Okay, so you can see that. It's really, this is like, okay, I don't know why my camera is so blurry, but look at that. It looks pretty, and I feel like the only thing left to do is to activate it, but I want to get pretty creative on this one, and we can change it up a bit. So, just continue mixing this up. So you can see it was originally a gold slime. Very pretty. I'm thinking we can add some glue to here. 
just to make it a little bit thicker. And mix. They made it kind of a yellowy color. Guys, I don't know if you can see that because my camera's so blurry. But it's kind of a yellowy color. It's pretty nice. But I want to make this a, a red color. So I want to make it kind of a pink, reddish color. I think that will look really cool. But first we activate it. And I have some activator right here. So it's almost all the way activated. It's kind of pulling up sides. But I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit more because it's not completely activated. And that's what we want right now. This looks really good. As you can see, it is pretty activated. Gosh, this is so sticky. Might need a bit more activator. Oh my gosh. Well, okay, so it's pretty coming together in my hands. Okay, sorry that you can't see this right now, but it's a little hard to show it. Okay, I can move it to a different container, but here it is. This looks pretty nice, but we still have to change the color. So I think that would be a net the next good step. So I'm gonna go get my red coloring and I'll be right back. Okay, got my red. And I just need to get a fork and just get a bit of that and stick it in there. It's kind of looking really gross right now, but I think it'll turn out to look pretty nice. still partially metallic if you can see that it's still partially metallic that might look good in the end result I'm not entirely sure what the end result is gonna look like right now because I'm just kind of trying things seeing how things will look and right now it, I think it's going pretty well the main thing is is that we got it activated so that's great um, a bit more red. Get it all on there. And continue to mix. Fork. Get out. Get out. Fork. Get out. Okay. So we're continuing to mix. And it is looking pretty nice. Actually, since it's fully like activated and everything, I think I'm going to start mixing it on the table and I'll make it just a bit nicer, easier to manage. Okay, so we need more red. Why am I not surprised? Okay, shove it down in there. Get a lot of red. So much red. 
read a lot. So, I'm kind of planning to make this a orangey reddish. I'm not entirely sure how this is going to turn out because, well, I've never done it. And this is like an old slime makeover. I'm not exactly sure how the slime will react, but it looks like it's changing color finally now. And... Mm, that's a pretty nice color. It's like a planet, kind of. I kind of like this deep orange. It's looking nice. Oh, and I know the final touch. The final touch is gonna be some sugar beads. It's sugar beads look really cool in slime and they give it such an amazing texture so let me go get these all right these are the ones and just to shake out a bit oh this feels so good do you like such a nice texture Oh yes, collect all the beads. Yes, this is such a nice texture. I think I'm gonna have to leave it at here and let's move on to the next slime. Okay guys, it's the final slime. So we have this one and it is melted. It is gross, but I think the first thing we're going to need to do is scrape all those jelly cubes out. So, let me quickly get my thing of digger. So, let's scrape all these jelly cubes out into the trash can. Okay, so after getting the jelly cubes out, can I please just focus on my... Okay, so after getting the jelly cubes out, this is what we're left with. Um, I think it's pretty nice, but the color is not too nice, but the texture, the clear slime seems pretty good. I guess, I don't know, really know what I'm talking about. I'm just really bothered by that, by the, like, why is it so blurry? Just a second, guys. Oh my gosh, it just turned blurry just as like, oh my gosh. Okay, well, anyway, guys, sorry about that. I'm just gonna pour all of this into my bowl. We should, what should we make? We should, I don't know what shape we should make, honestly. To tell you the truth, um, what should I make? Oh, I know, I have a perfect idea. So, we can make a butter slime. But first, we're going to need to put a bit more blue food coloring in there because it is just not the best blue we could have. Let's get just a little bit. That's looking better already. It's kind of like a turquoise color. It's nice. Okay, so we're gonna have to be adding a bit of white glue because we don't want it to be clear butter slime because that would just not look good. 
Okay. So that looks like enough. And let's stir. Oh, this color is so beautiful. Okay, so now we activate. And I think I used all my activator from the last one, so I'm just going to have to make some more. Hold on for just a second. Okay, guys, so I have my activator right here. Let's just pour a bit into here. And mix. But yeah, that looks good. Okay, guys, so here's the slime. It's very thick. And now we just have to add our clay and lotion. Here's your clay. And here's your lotion. So first thing we need to do is cut over the clay. You can use an entire packet or you can use a portion of it. But I think I'm just going to use the entire packet for now. Now the clay is is really hard, well not really hard, but it's not very moldable when it first comes out of the package. So when you mix it into your slime, it you may have to work it in quite a bit before it cooperates with you. And to keep it from getting any like hard or anything, you can get you can put some lotion in there and it'll be a really nice buttery slime. That should be enough for now. Okay, so it looked like it turned into kind of a chocolatey mint color, like a mint color. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and make this slime chocolate chip mint ice cream. And I think it's gonna look really cool. So I have a cool thing planned for the chocolate chips over here. These black specks will work perfectly in this mint chocolate chip. Now, I don't know if you can see this amazing mint color, but it is really amazing. So, it's great. And let's just cut this open. And pour out the chocolate chips. I don't think I have to use the whole bag. Look at that. It looks so much like chocolate chip mint. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this might be my favorite slime yet. Look at all the chocolate chips. Oh, this is so nice. And the texture is amazing. Look at that. It's so soft too. And you can poke it. Oh yes, this is so nice. Okay, well, I think this is perfect. I think I'm gonna end this video right here. I hope you liked it. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Bye!